Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving. We're gonna venture out that way. See what we can find. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoy this video. So we began our long swim down the coast and all the little taco were out and about. This little guy decided he wanted to catch a ride up with me, which I thought was pretty cool. So in the beginning of the dive, I was having a hard time to relax. I felt really anxious and just felt like I had too much extra energy. So finding the current down the coast for me was a way of expending that extra energy and calm down a little. Here I saw a nice papillo and some moana collies which I decided to pass up. Further down the coast, I came across this feeding eagle ray which I thought was totally awesome. Since I wasn't mentally ready at the moment for deeper dives, I came into shallower zones maybe 30 to 40 feet of water just as a safety precaution. After about an hour half to two hours of swimming up current, my breathe ups became steadier, not rushed, and I was able to calm down, focus, and just zone now. By now we've reached the farthest zone we wanted to swim to and just turned back to catch the current and drift back. I saw a pair of good sized Moana Collies at the top, but at the bottom, I was surprised to see they disappeared but this Veke Ula popped up. Definitely one of me and my wife's favorite sashimi among yellow spots and ukus, just to name a few. After dispatching my vecula, I quickly cleaned it up. All the scales and guts drew in some nice ukus and I was determined to get one. Here you see one of the ukus coming in. I try to move slowly and line up for the shot. At the time, I thought he was in range for a long shot, but quickly realized I made a mistake. After reloading and recovering, I took another drop. I could still see the ukus lingering in the background and all the commotion drew in these oceanic qualities. Mm-hmm. 
This time, I tried dropping right next to this boulder to hide myself. I threw up some sand and let out some grunts hoping to call in the hookus. Here I noticed this move well in range so I swung my gun over and lined up. I missed my window of opportunity and decided to try and shish kebab it which was another mistake. I decided to hide by this boulder again, dusting and grunting hoping maybe the wolves are still around. This little uku comes in and I still see the other two lingering in the distance but don't come in closer because of my missed shots before. So after a few more failed attempts, I noticed that the oceanic wall was hanging out nearby. On this drop, I told myself if the ukus don't come in, I'll settle for an oceanic wall as a last resort. The ukus are nowhere in sight, so I take my time lining up on the biggest oceanic wall waiting for a solid shot. On my way in, I decided to check one more spot I know holds ukus. But to my surprise, this moon literally swims up to me and I'm able to get a quick and easy dive bomb on a solid moon. I'm super stoked and beyond lucky to be able to get this moon in this fashion. Better lucky than good, right? After securing this move, I swam straight in because this was the best way in my eyes to end this dive. Alright guys, so pretty 
long dive. It's uh, pretty choppy and hazy, but in the end, got super lucky with uh, that moo. Dive bombed him maybe like 20, 30 feet. And also got really lucky on that Vecula. Looks like I got a steamer and sashimi for Thanksgiving. Anyway, I'm gonna pack up, pack back, have some cold ones. Happy bladed Thanksgiving, guys. See you in the next video. Shoots.